Hi, this is Joshua Stern, and today we're going to do a market update for the Wasatch Front. So, how does the Wasatch Front market actually feel to you? Because we're nearly three quarters of the way through that. Let's take a look at some of the key market indicators to help us understand what's really going on with the Wasatch Front real estate market. So far this year, we've sold 15,891 single family homes along the Wasatch Front, and that will take us through August of 2017. We've also sold nearly 4,800 condominiums and townhomes during that same period of time along the Wasatch Front. That's nearly 20,000 homes and condos sold so far in 2017, and we still have a few months left to go. So far, it appears the average price of a home along the Wasatch Front for 2017 is hovering at around 320,000, and that's about a 9% increase over where we were last year at this time. So let's talk a little bit about supply and demand because all economies are driven by supply and demand. If the supply is down, the demand is up. We see prices go up. And we've had a pretty good ride in terms of increasing prices for homes along the Wasatch Front over the last four years. In real estate, we consider it a level market when you have between a four and six month supply of homes on the market at any given time. If we dip below four month supply, we find that we're in a seller's market, which means that you're going to see upward pressure on pricing. And if we get above a six month supply, then we move in the opposite direction and we begin to see a buyer's market. Remember 2008 through 2011, very much a buyer's market. So a three month supply of homes exists along the Wasatch Front under 350,000. And that, by the way, is about a month above where we were at the end of the first quarter of this year. This means that we're seeing supply begin to increase, which may provide some relief to our first time home buyers. The other side of this is that during the first quarter, the Stern team was experiencing multiple offers on about 80% of their homes that were priced under 350,000. And now we're seeing about 30% of those homes go with multiple offers. So if we look at single family homes priced above 350,000 along the Wasatch Front, there's just shy of a six month supply. In terms of condominiums and townhomes along the Wasatch Front below 350,000, we're up to about a three and a half month supply of homes. Again, this is about a one month supply more than what we had in the first quarter. So let's take just a moment, put things in perspective and talk about mortgage rates and affordability. Mortgage rates have not changed as much as, they, uh, as we thought they would and as much as the experts said they would. We've seen them go up a bit and then we've seen them come back down a bit. All in all, I'd say we're hovering just a little above or below that 4% mark. And this has helped keep things affordable as prices have increased. In fact, if you look at the average price of a $320,000 home at 4% on a 30 year mortgage, your principal and interest payment will be about $1,527. Whereas 10 years ago, the average price of a home along the Wasatch Front was $271,000. But the average interest rate was 6.5% on the same 30 year mortgage, which meant that your principal and interest payment was $1,770. So you'd actually be saving $180 to buy the average home today, or it's about 12% less to buy a home today than it was 10 years ago. So keep that in mind. If you have any questions about buying or selling a home, please call me directly or you can see my email below. Thanks again for taking the time to watch our video blog.